and I still find myself beautiful. I still find myself cute. I still be in the mirror and be like, damn, you's a badass bitch. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It is your girl Jasmine Destine. If you are new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's good, what's goody? We are back with a new video, a new hair video, a new install, but it's going to be get ready with me, chit chat so I'm also going to be doing this glam look with you guys, this makeup that just looks so cute. I used a bunch of new skincare and makeup products, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then make sure you keep watching. Today's video is sponsored by none other than Love Me Hair. Shout out to Love Me Hair for sponsoring today's video. We love them for that. <laughs> Don't be alarmed when we get to the next part of this video and it's like daylight out because that's when I started filming, but it's clearly nighttime now, so you know, it is a whole little setup. But I know I wanted to do my intro beforehand, so I'm gonna just stop talking and we're gonna get right into this video. Okay, so I just finished washing my hair, um, blowing it out, and then I just like clipped it up. But I'm gonna be doing a wig install today. It's gonna be like a little get ready with me, chit chat style, cause I just feel like talking to you guys. Cause I've been sick for a little over a week. So I just feel like I haven't been speaking to anyone cause I haven't, like I've been MIA. So I just feel like sitting down and talking to you guys just about some New Year's resolutions, some plans that I have um, coming up for 2022. I can't believe we're in 2022. I can't believe that the pandemic started two years ago. <laughs> like that's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> Cause that just puts into perspective, like two years have literally just like gone by like this. So like I'm gonna blink and it's gonna be like two more years. Hopefully the sun, I mean the sun is not out right now, but hopefully it doesn't go anywhere for like the next two hours while I'm installing this wig. <sighs> Today's video is sponsored by none other than Love Me Hair. This has honestly become one of my favorite hair brands. As of recent, their hair is affordable but luxury. I honestly really love it. On the gorgeous wig that I'm gonna be installing today is this one right here. Um, I haven't even cut the lace off or anything. I'm actually about to bleach these knots real quick because we can't do an install without bleach knots. So I'm gonna braid my hair and it's gonna be like a speed through because you guys probably don't really need to see my crappy braiding technique. I just try to get my braids as flat as possible so that the wig looks good and it doesn't look like crazy from the back because honestly like I used to do like a slick back bun but I've my hair has grown and I've just accumulated too much hair now to where I have a little hump so I gotta braid it but I'm not the best braider so yeah I'm gonna very quickly braid my hair and while I'm braiding it I'm gonna bleach the knots that whole sort of shebang and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna install the wig together and it's gonna be a little chit chat so let's get to it Okay, so I finished braiding my hair up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, this oil. This is the Jamaican black castor oil that I use all the time. I just put it in one of these little dropper bottles that I got from the container store. And I'm gonna just apply this in between my braids because I know I'm probably gonna have this wig on for like a week. And I just wanna make sure that my scalp is like really moisturized because, I mean, she's dry. And I don't know, I normally aim for like eight or 10 braids, but I was being a little lazy <laughs> this time. And I only did six, so I have like two bigger ones on the side, but they're not bulky actually. They're actually really flat, so I think it's still gonna work very well. So yeah, I'm gonna do my bald cap method. You get a bald cap, you get a pack of bald caps or you get a pack of 
these in your loot box. If you don't have, don't worry. And I'm pretty sure you get to pick your color too. I'm just gonna tuck my braids under here. Oh, you know what I like to do actually before I do that? But I like to take my bolt hold and just slip these. Big ears one more time for measure, for good measure. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about, I don't know, just like a couple of things that have been going on in my life, I guess. Like, kind of like an update. The last time I did an update, you guys were like, can you do these more often so that we know what's going on with you? I'm sorry about the noise. Downtown LA. Um, yeah, they were like, can you do these more often so we know what's going up, going on with you? Like more frequently that's why I, I was like you know what maybe i can actually i was sick for the beginning of 2022 and i'm like finally getting back to feeling like myself again and it was like a very i feel like it was like uh it was like um a reality shock, that's what I should call it. It was like a reality shock. Like, I felt like, I think I was doing a lot and I was trying to accomplish a lot of things, but also just like be very like on it all the time. And my body was just like, girl, you need to slow down, like slow down. Like, yeah, so I think that was my body's way of telling me. I think that was God's way of telling me. I, I just think that I was like, kind of getting a reality check there that I need to like slow down, that my mental but also my physical health is very important. And I'm not gonna be able to accomplish or do any of the things I wanna do if I'm not taking care of myself first. So yeah, I was sick and I feel so much better now. Probably still hearing a little bit of my voice, but honestly, like I'm feeling so much better. <laughs> So much better so i'm very happy about that i still wrote down like my resolutions and my goals for the new year i feel like all of the time that i spent in bed aside from watching a ton of netflix and literally finishing every show that i was like watching at the, at the time i feel like it also gave me a lot of time to reflect on 2021 and the year that i had and all of the things that i got to accomplish last year and the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year and then also just kind of like what I want to do this year and I just can't believe that 12 months flew by in the way that it did and when I think about where I was at the beginning of 2021 and I think about where I'm at now it's just like so crazy so I'm very thankful I'm very happy I think I had a really good 2021, if I do say so myself. And honestly, when I was going into 2021, I wanted to have like no expectations because of how crappy 2020 was. <laughs> I was literally like kind of scared actually to say anything because I was just like, nah, the way 2020 went, I can't even really sit up here and promise anything or say anything or want to expect anything. And then it just it just goes to crap so but actually 2021 was such a good year for me i got my car i moved into a new apartment a better apartment um i hit 100k on youtube i had some lows i definitely had some low moments i was in a relationship and then i wasn't in a relationship and that was like a whole ordeal in itself <laughs> um so yeah like all in all though i think 2021 served its purpose I think it was just a year of like realizing stuff and like me and my friends were just like realizing things. <laughs> this year is really about like the year of just realizing stuff and everyone around me were all just like realizing things. I'm about to real quick just blow dry this so it can stay in place, honey. Okay, so got my ball cap on. I tinted it with some foundation. I tinted my lace with my Bold Hold Lace Tint in Caramel. You just spray it on the lace and it tints it. But yeah, like I was saying, 2021 was great. I'm so excited for 2022. I'm not really big on talking about like, 
specific goals that I set for myself, like sharing them ahead of time with people because I just feel like that can open up the door or just the possibility to like people sharing their opinions on things that they think that you possibly can't like accomplish or be capable of doing or just being negative overall so i'm not gonna like go too specific and i feel like i've told you guys this before but i know there are a couple of like small goals that i know for certain i'm gonna accomplish this year that i don't mind sharing with you guys just because I'm very optimistic about this year. I think it's gonna be a good year. I'm hoping, God willing, it's an amazing year. It's a healthy year. It's just overall positivity because I really don't need any negativity in my life. So um, I'm gonna just try this on. There is a sewn in band on the inside of this wig that I'm obsessed with. I love that um, Love Me Hair does that because most wigs will send you the elastic band and then you have to do it yourself, but shall they do it for you. She does come pre-plucked, but I plucked her a little bit more just because I like, oh my gosh, the sirens. Uh, shall anyway, so yeah, there's an elastic band sewn on the inside and then there's combs along the crown, the nape of the neck along the sides and then you also get an adjustable band too so she's so secure like i actually didn't even put the adjustable band on because i didn't want this to be too tight on my head i just know i know myself okay so she's definitely long enough because it goes over my ears so i'm definitely gonna have to cut we've got another one right here same stitch okay uh, she looks good so yeah some of my goals for 2022 <laughs> I want to be a dog mom this year like I feel like I've been having this conversation with my girls for a couple of months now probably at this point but like I it was always something that I wasn't sure that I wanted to do and I was just like hmm because you know they say like having getting a dog especially a puppy is like having like a baby it's like getting a, it's like having a kid because there's just so much responsibility associated with it and I know I, I remember I mentioned it last year to my dad and he was just like don't get a dog you're not ready to have a dog and I was just like Ugh. excuse me what do you mean like why are you judging me like this but honestly he might have been right at that time but I really feel like I've matured and I've like grown up like more and i just feel like i'm ready for more responsibility like i definitely not ready for the keys on samsung but i want something i want to like have the responsibility of taking care of a pet like more specifically a dog i'm allergic to cats so i'll never be able to get a cat although i find cats kind of cute my mom has a cat she used to have two cats actually yeah so I, i'll never have a cat although i think cats are very cute and i'd be watching the little tiktok videos that go viral of people with cats but like i don't know what's been going on with my tiktok and my instagram um explore page but they just keep suggesting me dogs and more specifically puppies and more specifically on instagram red toy poodles and that's the kind of puppy that I want like I want a pet I want a poodle but I want a toy poodle ah! and I'm just talking about it gets me so excited but yeah I want to be a dog mom this year so like watch out you guys because at some point in 2022 your girl's gonna have a puppy like I plan on having a little fur baby I want to go on hikes with my pup I want to go on walks I'll take him food shopping with me I'm already manifesting a boy because when I was a kid, I had a boy dog. And then my mom's two cats were also boys too. I've never had a, a female dog. And I honestly just, I don't know. I feel like I want a boy. Like I, little, I want a little puppy. That's a boy. I want a little puppy. And I'm already thinking of names. Although if I have a girl, I kind of already know what I would name her. I'm not going to tell you guys. That's going to be a surprise. But yeah, I want to be a dog. I feel like if I manifested a new apartment and a car last year, I can definitely manifest a puppy uh, this year. That would be so cute. Like my life honestly would feel very complete. I need that. I need that in my life. I need my little fur baby. Please. So yeah, that's one of my um, goals for the year. But another goal that I set for myself 
um, that I feel like I'm already, you know, on the right track to doing and maintaining is actually like staying really consistent with the gym and just ultimately like meeting my body goals for myself this year because this is the year that I turn 25. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to cry because that's like so crazy to me because there's so many like goals and just things that I used to say to myself and other people in the like the last 10 years that I was like, yeah, when I'm t by the time I'm 25, I'm gonna have this. By the time I'm 25, I'm gonna do this. By the time I'm 25, like, I was just like, you know, there was a lot of things that I wanted for myself and I can't believe that now I'm literally at that age. Like, I'm literally about to be a quarter freaking century. Like, I feel so old. I can't believe I'm about to be on the other hump of my 20s, like 25 to 30. Like, I'm on the other side of that hill like 25 is like it's not downwards it's definitely upwards because I feel like the next five years the last five years a lot of growth a lot of change happened a lot of I'm not the same person I was five years ago I'm not the same person I was when I was 20 I'm not the same person I was when I was 22 I'm about to be 25 I know these next five years are gonna be amazing because I finally feel like I know who I am like I'm I feel established in the person that I am and what my purpose is it's it's just like I'm following my dreams now and I'm just essentially doing it and I obviously have to remain consistent and continue to grow and achieve things and whatever but like now it's like there's no more there's no more of a question mark for me like is this what I'm supposed to be doing or is this what's meant for me and is it gonna happen like I'm past that obviously because I've gotten the reassurance and I've seen it like I've seen the fruits of my labor but it's just I know these next five years are gonna be so good. Like, I'm so excited. I was about to tweet that actually the other day. I don't know why I didn't tweet it, but I saw it in my drafts earlier. I'm gonna tweet it because I already know like these next five years. Oh my God, I'm, I am I don't wanna blink and they're over, but I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Like, I feel like I'm gonna blink and it's gonna be, <laughs> I can't. No, but seriously, like what? We're getting old guys well i'm getting old i don't know how old you guys are but if you guys have been watching me for at least like the past couple of years then i feel like you've seen me in so many different stages of my life and i feel like you've seen the growth firsthand because it's like i've documented so much and it's kind of hard not to but yeah one of the major goals that i set for myself like years ago i was like by 25 i want to look the best i've ever looked like i want to be so confident and secure and loving of myself and in my physical form like my body than i ever have before because i've had my moments where i feel really good about myself and i'm like oh you look good girl like girl you look good but then there's still always like I, everyone has insecurities i feel like that's very normal and i still struggle with insecurities too like I'm not a hundred percent there mm -hmm. all the time but I feel like now I'm getting to a point in my fitness crew like my fitness journey where I feel very confident in like what I need to do in order to obtain the look that I'm going for and like what I want to do it's just literally a matter of consistency in the gym and eating the right foods and consuming like the right amount of calories and protein like that and i and i know what it is and i know what it's gonna take and i know that i can do it because i've been doing it and i'm seeing that my body is like changing and i'm very pleased i will not be getting a bbl i get questions here and there about have you ever considered getting a bbl or would you ever get a bbl or would you honestly um no i don't want to do it because it's the idea of it scares me like going under the knife like that and it being a very high risk procedure i literally don't judge anyone that has done it or wants to do it like girl that's up to you that's your life live your life how you want to live it i judge no one for doing the things that they feel like are going to make them happy more confident whatever um but for me personally no 
that's something I would not do. That's something I don't plan on doing. I will say though, the like I have felt like more recently, especially on my fitness journey, um, that I would definitely consider getting my boobs done at some point. I would like to say that this year would be a cool year for that to happen, but if it doesn't and it happens next year, like I wouldn't be opposed to it either. But yeah, I want to get my boobs done because with losing weight in the fashion that I have and the way that I'm gonna continue to lose weight and um, your boobs literally being made up of like fat and tissue, I just feel like my boobs are not the same. And they're very like, I'm gonna describe them and I can be very blunt with myself, they're sad. I feel like I got sad titties and people may not agree but that's just personally how i feel about them and i just want to look at my boobs and be like yes those are your boobs and they look right <laughs> and i just don't feel like that right now so um child let's manifest a boob job before the end of the year that would be great but like then i feel like at that point i'm gonna have the gym booty and the gym quads and the hands and my sexy ass back that i'm going for like i want my back to be real sculpted and just snatched and i want to just wear backless shirts and backless dresses and just have my back out all summer because my back looks so good and then the, the girls is gonna be doing what they need to do yeah and the face guard is always giving, like even with the ball cap half showing in a wig, <laughs> it's still giving face. So yeah, that would be very, very cute if I do say so myself. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I stick it on. Just a little, and then I'm gonna get my elastic band too. Okay, so cut my little ears out. I still have the lace on, you just can't see it, but it's right here. And then I put my elastic band on, just so I could like really, Melt that bad boy in there. The hairline looks so good. Like, what? Girl, what? Love me hairs. Lace does it for me every time. This way, so I can cut. But like, it's giving scalp, period. I'm gonna take a little razor without cutting myself, cause I always manage to nick my skin just a little, cause I'm trying to get so close the lace, I mean to the hairline. But like, honey. Yeah. And I wanna put some really cute bombshell curls in this because I was gonna do straight, sleek middle part cause y'all know how much I love her. And then I'm just gonna like flip up the lace that's lifted a little and then go on with a little bit more glue. And this is the end of my rat tail comb. It broke, so if you guys are wondering what this is, I know it looks a little weird. Now I'm just gonna pull this forward and let it melt. I'm gonna have all of the specs and the details for this hair in the description box, so make sure you go check that first, because I guarantee it's all of the links and the details of this hair will be down there. But I have it in the middle part. I'm gonna take this wax stick from the Cantu and tame these flyaways, because oh my god, I can't. I like to do this first because it lets me see part clear. I don't know, and it, I feel like I need the base of the hair to look a certain way before I start styling so that when I go in and I style the rest, it kind of just all comes together. Okay, so I am about, I'm about to do some curls in this hair using my Baby Bliss Pro Curling Iron. This is an inch and a half barrel. I'm gonna have it linked to my Amazon storefront. Absolutely love her. This is my favorite purchase of 2021. No, that has to be my car. But this is like a close second. <laughs> and the sun is gonna set in like 30 minutes, so I'm definitely gonna end up switching to my studio light, which is fine. 
it's fine. What are you gonna do? So yeah, I'm gonna be 25 this year, you guys. <laughs> oh my god! And I just feel like with turning 25, I just feel like I'm establishing even more boundaries and standards for myself when it comes to the people that I interact with, the things that I do on a daily. Like I'm keep, I'm holding myself to a higher regard and I feel like that's really important. I don't feel like it's talked about enough, but it's okay to change. Like I feel like people expect you to oh that's hot people expect you to stay the same maybe because they knew you like a couple of years ago or they went to school with you or you worked with them at some point in your life in your career or whatever and they and then they interact with you after you've grown after you've changed after you've experienced after you've learned from mistakes like and they expect you to be the same and i just i'm literally i'm here to tell you that no that's not the way that it is and it's okay to change it's okay to not be the same person anymore it's okay to not want to accept certain treatment certain actions from from people from someone specifically like it's okay to not want that for yourself anymore because you know what? You grew up, you learned, you realized. I don't, I, it, it didn't make me feel good. It didn't make me feel the way I wanted it to feel. It didn't make me happier. It didn't put more money in my pocket. It didn't help with my health, my mental health, my physical health. Like, so I just don't want to take part in it. And that's okay. I'm here to tell you that I know I've changed and certain things that I would have accepted or allowed like two years ago, three years ago, even, hell, even a year ago, I'm realizing now that no, I don't want to actually be accepting of that anymore. I don't want to actually have to experience anything like that or have to go through that. And that's okay. And I'm changing. And I'm, I'm, I can say for certain that I'm not the same person that I was five years ago. I'm definitely not the same person I was five years ago. Definitely not the same person I was three years ago. You change, everyone changes. It's it's inevitable. Life happens, things happen and you don't, you can't, you can try and plan so much. You can try and plan out every little minute detail. Is that how you say that? Minuscule detail? You guys know what I'm saying. You can literally try and plan out every small detail of your life and God and just the way that life is set up is literally going to humble you or just be like, no, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with this first. You're gonna have to go through this. You're gonna have to experience this. And it's because when you want so much for yourself, when you have all these goals and these aspirations and there's so many things that you wanna do, guess what? <laughs> In order to achieve those things, you have to grow. You have to be the person that would be like accepting of, but also worthy of those things, if that makes sense. Like, ciao. And I'm learning all of this. And I'm, I can't believe that I'm literally like at this point in my life, but I am. And I'm happy to be here. It took a lot to get here. It took so much. And not many people know the journey that it's taken me, but it's taken me a freaking journey. So now I just kind of want to like experience it and actually enjoy it because in a second, things can be completely different. So, and I'm just going to leave that there. I'm very thankful for the people that I have in my life, for my family, for the health of my family, for the health of myself in this crazy, crazy, crazy COVID infested world. I can't believe that there's just, it's, I don't even want to really touch on that because it's gonna like, it can be a bit much for a lot of people, but it's just crazy. The only thing you have control over is yourself how you take care of yourself, the things that you do to make you happy, that bring you joy, that bring you happiness. And that's all that we can control, really. And speaking of joy, I had someone comment under one of my self-care maintenance routine videos. I have a couple of those up on my channel. I had someone comment this long paragraph about how, how could I possibly love myself if I'm spending an entire day removing natural things for myself like 
unwanted body hair or shaving or like style like doing my natural hair and in this specific video i was styling my natural hair so it wasn't even like i was putting on a wig or anything but even still even if i was putting on a wig i genuinely don't understand people that will sit and watch something and interact with something that they know they genuinely one can't relate to two don't like typically don't like and three like isn't gonna do anything for them like why are you why are you watching it then at that point like i never find myself or catch myself watching something on my phone on my computer on my tv whatever like on any social media app like i never find myself watching something that i know i'm not gonna like or i know that i wouldn't enjoy or i click on it and i'm like hmm what's this about i watch a couple of seconds and i'm like hmm, this is not something i really would enjoy or i like and i click off of it i don't go and i like write a whole paragraph or an email or give it a thumbs down like i don't understand people that do that but like fine people feel like if you post something on the internet then it's up for criticism i'm here to tell you that it's not people share things to share like tips to share because it might help someone to share because it might bring someone joy like that's why people share things on social media me sharing my self-care routine like things that i do in order to bring myself joy, me, myself, is not up for criticism because at the end of the day, it's what makes me happy. It's not what makes other people happy. I'm not thinking about, oh, I shouldn't do this because it might not make someone else happy. No, I'm doing it because it makes me happy. Like, I'm literally like, what do I wanna do today that's gonna make me feel good about myself? That's gonna make me feel confident? That's gonna make me feel happy? That's genuinely just going to bring me joy. Like, the simplest term, joy. And then I do those things. And sometimes I'll record them. I'll film them, I'll set my camera up, and I'll do those things on camera so that I can share it with you guys because it may be something that you too can do in your own spare time in your home in the comfort of your home and it'll bring you joy as well so it's just like this person was literally sitting up here trying to tell me that i don't love myself or i have no love for myself because i'm doing things that are unnatural or i'm removing things that are natural on my body because i don't i guess find myself beautiful with them when i'm here like literally i'm here probably nine times out of ten looking a mess i don't always have a wig on i don't always have my lashes done i don't always have clear skin or a completely hairless body and i still find myself beautiful i still find myself cute i still be in the mirror and be like damn you a bad period like i genuinely feel that about myself and that's because i've i've gotten to a point in my life where I, I genuinely love myself like i genuinely love who i am as a person i love the way that i look yeah sure there are things about me that i'd like to change and i'm actively working towards them to change them but i can say like definitively definitively that i love myself and i just thought it was so crazy that this person was literally trying to tell me about me like how are you trying to sit up here and tell me about myself and I don't really like, I try not to engage with negative comments. One, because I don't really get them often. So I feel like when I do, like I'm giving into the 1% of the time, the one percenters of, of people that watch my stuff and like genuinely don't like it or hate me or are hate watching or whatever, like hate commenting. But I find myself like, I don't know. I think I woke up that day and I, it was a day that I was sick in bed and child i had time like i was like oh i got time today like i had time on my hands so i had to clap back just a little bit and then i responded and i was just like i was like i'm even with my clap backs i'm not like mean like i'm not rude but i'm just like if you guys if you don't want to watch it if you genuinely don't like it then why are you watching it and why are you here like interacting with the content like why why it doesn't make any sense to me like if you don't like something then don't like it like but don't watch it don't subscribe don't wait for me to post don't watch all my other videos and then comment on a bunch of other videos saying the same thing over and over again you're clearly a fan at that point like you're not it doesn't <laughs> 
what's not clicking, Steven? Like, you want to be here, but child, they don't, they're not ready for that conversation. They're not. That's when I just like, okay, if you can't do it for yourself, I'll do it for you. And then I block them. And then it's, uh, can you unblock me on another app in my messages or whatever, in my DMs? Can you unblock me on this app? Can you unblock me here? Can you? No. Like, no. No. Once you get blocked, you get blocked, babe. Sorry. Sorry. You've lost all privileges, yeah? You, you don't want to be here. Clearly, you don't like me. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you like me a lot, actually. You just can't get enough of me. But you hate that you love me. <laughs> Yo. People are so weird. Like, very weird behavior. But like I said, there's not a lot of them, right? There's not a lot of negative comments. And I honestly, I feel like that's because I'm not an, a negative person. I don't feel like I create a space where negativity could even flourish. Because honestly, like I said, it's a quick block. It's a quick delete. Like, I don't feel like it's necessary to have negativity there because someone else might see it and you commenting on something could, you, someone commenting something negative could affect another person that's viewing my content and it's like, maybe it's something that has to do with them or they can relate to and I don't even, I don't ever want that to be the case either. Like, I don't wanna harp on that for too long, but that was a quick little rant because don't people out there, they become the, and you know who you are. <laughs> Not everybody. I wanna do the thing where like I curl and then I pin and I have the pins too in my bathroom but like i'm being kind of lazy because the curls look so good already like <laughs> girl what <laughs> these are so cute i will say one benefit of being sick <laughs> well there was really two because your girl lost some pounds i definitely was like drinking straight tea like every single day all day just mad fluids and i feel like i I lost some weight. Probably just like water weight, but still, it's doing what it needs to do. But my boy, this is like a little raspy. <laughs> I really love the way this hairspray smells so much. It's from Aussie, and it's the 24 hour flexible hold. It has jojoba oil in it, so it gives my hair a really nice shine too. Oh, it's getting so dark. Yes, like that. So pretty. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna curl the other side off camera just because I feel like, yeah, we need to speed this up. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do our makeup. Look at these. Ah! They're so cute, these curls. Yeah, so let me curl my hair and I'll be Okay, so I'm back. It's clearly nighttime, so you know, <laughs> we had to put the lights, the studio lights to one. I just need to figure out my lighting situation with like being backlit because it's just so dark back there. But then again, I'm like, do you guys care? But maybe you do. Someone tell me down below. I washed my face in the shower, but I didn't put any skincare on. I just did my Pixi Beauty Glow Tonic. I did put on toner just because I wanted to make sure my face was like completely clear and then I had some breakouts like right here and right here and there's like a little scar situation I'm gonna zoom you guys in actually so we're about to do makeup we're gonna glam um, I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare before I start um, I'm gonna first since I already did toner I'm gonna go on with serum and I'm using some new skincare from pixie beauty that I got when I went to an event a couple of weeks ago this is the pixie beauty hydrating milky serum I like using hydrating products underneath my makeup because it just makes my skin look so freaking good it makes it look plump it looks glowy it looks dewy but i don't look oily it's honestly like the best thing ever even if your skin is oily you should be making sure that it doesn't look dry under your makeup because when you put makeup on top it's just going to accentuate the fact that your skin looks dry like i get that we don't want to be oily i understand but like sis you need to moisturize oh 
Ooh, I like this serum. I like her. That's very nice. She added a really great glow to my skin. Look at that. Oh, that makes it. That's you. And then I'm gonna go in with this rose ceramide cream. This has a very, very nice texture. It feels so silky. Like if it's just gliding across my skin. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Yeah, this is a nice cream. Okay! See, I get so stuck in my ways of like liking certain things that I tend to not try new stuff often, but when I do, I feel like that's when I find new favorites like look at my skin from those two products <laughs> and then i was gonna go in with the luminous oil from pixie beauty girl because you know how i am i was gonna put this on but those two other products are so hydrating that i don't think i should because that might be overkill i don't want to do too much but look at this this is really really pretty it's literally like a little oil you can use it on the face and on the body so this in photos on like your clavicle on your chest on your leg if you got like a split i have benefit 24 hour brow center and i'm gonna gel my brows up then i'm gonna go in with primer i'm gonna be using this huda beauty primer and i'm gonna do some of this here I think, oh, look at my skin. I love, like this is how your skin should look underneath your makeup. This is how your skin should look before you put makeup on. I'm, the skincare routine is coming, I promise. It's coming this month. It's coming in the month of January. This is my Pixie Beauty Lift. Pixie Beauty Lift lip max i think in sheer rose my huda beauty foundation stick and i'm gonna do my foundation you guys when i do foundation sticks i just feel like my makeup looks so flawless honestly in this in the summertime i can't do a, a foundation stick it's just too heavy but right now in these colder months Foundation sticks are chef's kiss. They're perfect because it's so creamy. And then I got a nice dewy base. Like it blends out like a dream. I absolutely love it. I love it here. I was on Instagram today and I saw some new makeup products from a couple of the brands that I follow that they're coming out with. And I actually want to go to sephora soon and buy some stuff because i actually have not been intrigued by makeup in a while but i saw that and i was like girl i might have to get my hands on this oh i haven't done my makeup in so long like it's literally been like two weeks honestly i think it's been a little over two weeks and i'm ready i'm ready to transform that was my fenty beauty matchstick and truffle and then I'm going in with my Rare Beauty Concealer in 320W. Put that in here. I'm hungry. A little concealer. Hey, and then I go in with my Pixie Beauty Concealer in Warm. This one's actually lighter. It's like much lighter, but it's perfect because it's a highlighting shade. And I just put that right in here. So I can really brighten up. I put a little bit on the center of my forehead, over the nose, and the center of my chin. Um, and then I'm gonna take Skin com skin Smoothing Complexion Brush number 704 from A Cosmetics. I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag. And I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna do an eye look today. I never do eye looks. I'm gonna do a freaking eye look. Even if it's just a little sun slightly, I'm gonna do something good.
Okay, so we're all blended out. Look at the skin. Look at the skin. Look at the skin, girl. It's the prep. I'm telling you, it's the prep. Always. My Fenty Beauty um, Instant Retouch and Banana and my Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. I'm gonna mix them and apply them under my eye. I just need to set my under eye like right away because I don't want it to crease, obviously. I'm gonna take my Pixi Beauty Cream Blush. This is an orange blush that I've been really liking. And I'm just gonna apply a little right here. fill in now like nothing too crazy beautiful I'm only cleaning up underneath just to sharpen it so going for like a more natural makeup I do want to ask you guys what you guys would like to see from me this upcoming year like there's any specific videos that I haven't spoken on that you haven't seen me do that you wanted me to do last year that I didn't do whatever you know the situation is but like let me know down below what you guys would like to see from me okay the glam she's doing what she needs to do I don't want to put on eye makeup <laughs> and I just said that I was gonna put on eye makeup and I don't want to do it and you know what it is when my lashes are done Putting on eye makeup to then clean it off later is just not a task that I want to give myself. Uh. Ah! I'm gonna take my bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade three. And I'm gonna lightly bronze. Can't bronze my forehead too much just cause it's being got much forehead left. I like my nose contour really soft and really light because I don't, I don't want it to be strong. I want it to look more like a shadow than actual lines on my face, so. And then I need some blush, some blush off. I'm using California. I'm just gonna layer that on top. This is like a peachy blush, so that on top of the orange is giving me coral and I'm here for it. This setting spray from Milk is the truth, okay? I love this stuff. The Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Girl, if you want to glow, if you want to give dew, if you want to give skin, like second skin, this is it right here. This is the one, not the two. Like, I feel like it's this is a step under the Tatcha Luminous Silk um, Hydrating Mist. That's not a setting spray for makeup. That's like a luminous mist that you can apply before makeup and then you could apply it after, but it would make you like really, really oily. This is not gonna make you oily. It's gonna give you dew and glow like that but it's a setting spray, so it's it's gonna set your makeup as well. So it's helping with the longevity of it, which is why I love her. She's very cute. This is a little strong for me. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder number three, the airbrush finish, flawless finish powder. This one's a little bit closer to my foundation shade, and I'm just gonna tap this right under to kind of blend that line a bit because it was just a little strong for me. So, the last steps 
is actually going to be a little highlight. I never will stray from her, honestly. I, I already have a backup. Fenty Beauty, How Many Carrots, Diamond Balm Highlighter. She's just, I mean, you already see the glow from like literally from within, but let's just enhance it a little bit more. We're literally just going to play on what's already shining, 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 yeah. And we just go let it layer it up. Like, I know that's right. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Ooh, wee! Yeah. See, I, I did a little bit of eye makeup because I put glitter on my head. This is me trying to justify the fact that I always choose to do no eyeshadow. My lip, and I just needed to like exfoliate. And this is my cork lip liner, it's literally enough. I'm gonna buy a new lip liner. Glossy lip from Pixie in the shade Honey Sheen. a bunch of new products from Pixie. Okay, this is cute. I like this. And it's lip pumping because it's tingling. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Now I can take this tight ass headband off. Ooh. Ew. take a little bit of this bio silk light and apply some to my nails I'm gonna like finger up on the scalp on her I mean tuck behind the ear we're all good to go this side oh yeah it's giving babes it's giving very much and then the skin like yes Alrighty, so that is the completed chit chat get ready with me look hair and makeup I'm actually about to go take some photos right now. I gotta get pictures of this beat I might even throw on a little fit um, And take some full body pics, but I'm seriously obsessed with this hair Love me here. I said it once again. Honestly, they are becoming my absolute favorite when it comes to wigs cuz honey Look at this install. The lace is giving HD. Ah, the hair is giving healthy, it's giving shine, it's giving flourishing, the curls are giving bounce. I'm obsessed, I love it. If you guys loved it too, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and join the tribe, because I'm trying to get to 100K this year. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. I love you guys so much. Happy New Year, happy 2022 to you. I hope it's a prosperous and healthy and happy new year. And I know that we're gonna manifest everything that we want for ourselves out of this year. So if you're trying to be down for the ride, then turn on those notifications, girl. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.